So before I begin the video, a couple people were wondering where the kazoo went. Um, because the room I'm staying at for vacation is very echoey, I didn't want it to carry out and cause a noise complaint because it is a loud little piece of plastic. So it's just going to be some of the music that I had on hand from before. With that said, let's continue with fun facts with Discord. When humans domesticated wolves, we basically bred Williams syndrome into dogs, which is characterized by cognitive difficulties and a tendency to love everyone. We basically made dogs stupid goofballs. The French animated 3D show Code Lyoko was originally called Garage Kids. It would have been darker than what Code Lyoko was. The kids would have had their own powers outside of the computer world. And I think you could also have seen clips of what Garage Kids was in the opening. I think. Maybe. Don't. Don't count me on that one. Along with Fat and Eat It, Weird Al Yankovic recorded another song called Snack All Night, a parody of Michael Jackson's Black or White. Michael, however, urged Al not to release the song due to the message of Black and White. Today, the only footage of the parody that still exists of it is Al performing it during a 1992 concert. See, that's actually really nice that Al listened to Michael's words and decided to not publish that parody, technically. In the original ending of the Disney movie Lilo and Stitch, watch it, it's really good, Stitch was going to hijack a 747 airplane and crash it through the city of Honolulu while trying to rescue Lilo. After 9-11, the scene had to be changed to Jumba's big spaceship and crash through the mountains. You can still find the clip online. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of disturbing. If your skin is subjected to ridiculously cold temperatures for a long time, it might cause ice burns, which, while non-threatening, can cause a numbness, itchiness, blisters, and a feeling of waxy skin, among other symptoms. Usually, it's why you don't have an ice pack on an injury for a prolonged period. So remember the phrase, ice now, heat later. Or Shaquille O'Neal would say, Give yourself ice how I want it, Kevin. Here's a uh, pain scar. Shaquille O'Neal, 2019. Besides characters like Santo and the Blue Demon, another beloved member of the classic era of Lucha Libre was Miss Virginia Aguilera, the granny of wrestling. She was not a fighter, obviously, but an old lady that bought first row tickets for every single match happening in Mexico City. She never missed a single match from the day she started her hobby at 34 years old to her passing at the age of 97. In 1984, the CMML officially honored her for 50 years of unbroken attendance. She saw in the first row the complete career of El Santo, Lucha Libre's ultimate idol. From even before he donned his iconic mask to his very last match before retirement, before the match started, Santo took a moment to say goodbye to his old friend that had accompanied him throughout his entire journey. And the extra fun fact, the man on the suit is son of Santo, making his very first public appearance before he took the mantle his father left behind. This is a very touching photo, I love it. Penguins do in fact have knees. Their short legs mean that they hide under all the fat and feathers. You can see them in an x-ray though, that's disturbing. Put it back. Japan had a seat of negotiations for the Treaty of Versailles, but Germany didn't. Oh, that explains so much. And finalists. The average human can hear pitches which range from 20 to 20,000 hertz. But this is not stopped to certain people from making sounds outside this register. Pianos and bass guitars have been specially manufactured to deliver notes as low as B1. That is not a typo, that does mean B in the negative first octave. Where C4 is approximately the middle of the piano and is a commonly played note. For reference, A4 is 440 hertz, but it hasn't always been so. Conversely, few synthesizers are able to produce notes above 20,000 hertz. In both cases, you will often need to make or find ways to play outside this register since most instruments will not do this. So if you're ever messing around with GarageBand and you wonder why your guitar sounds extremely funky when trying to play a really high note. That's why. Are you ready for more fun facts with Discord? Cool. During the surrender at Yorktown, contrary to popular belief, Cornwallis didn't actually face George Washington when he turned his sword over, the official surrender, claiming to be sick that day. Instead, Brigadier General Charles O'Hara turned over Cornwallis's sword. So the next time your teacher asks you why you're taking a sick day, say that if Cornwallis can surrender and not be there that day, y'all don't gotta be there. The first two seasons of Star Trek The Next Generation costumes were a one-piece spandex sized smaller than the actors who wore them. 
The actors complained about how painful the spandex was, the lack of pockets, and Sir Patrick Stewart's chiropractor warned that the crew could face permanent injury. So about midway through season three, the crews of the Enterprise had a costume change. It was made of wool, came in two pieces, and most of the main crew got to wear the uniforms. The extras, on the other hand, they still had to wear the old uniforms. Well, to be fair, extras get turned out all the time, so they don't have to be there for the full day, so it's just one day of wearing a really crappy suit. But Sir Patrick Stewart, he was there all the time. You can turn a PS4 controller into a Bluetooth controller for other devices, such as a tablet, PC, etc., and use it to play mobile games, examples being Fortnite and Minecraft. You hold down the PS button and the share button at the same time till it blinks, meaning it is in pairing mode. Then you connect it like any other Bluetooth device. Very convenient for gamers that can't work on touchscreen controls. And also, I believe there is a method where you can use the Switch controllers as a Bluetooth device. And I didn't see gamers use it, but I see artists use it. So that is really handy. The first McDonald's franchise restaurant owned by Ray Kroc opened in Chicago suburb of uh, De Plains? De Plains in the Ocean? Des Plaines? That city, in 1955. There is a water deer. This one is stuffed, but this is what they typically look like. They're usually native to China or Korea, but some farms in the United States have bred water deer successfully. They're a very territorial species, especially during mating. In other countries where water deer have been imported, they're known as the vampire deer, for the long tusks, as you can see. That they look so goofy, I do not know if that's real. That is just too goofy looking. <laughs> Originally, Walt Disney himself was the voice of Mickey Mouse, followed by Jim McDonald and later Wayne Wallwine provided Mickey's distinctive voice. Mickey's new voice has not been officially announced. <clears throat> Guess again. Colors, according to psychology and multiple scientific studies, have different effects on either your brain or body. For example, the color red has been shown to speed up the human heartbeat, or of nightmares the most in a red-colored room. Yellow, in tandem with red, works as an appetite stimulant. McDonald's is really clever once you think about it. While blue actually serves as an appetite suppressant, due to the fact that blue is rarely found in nature. So long story short, red speeds up heart rate, appetite stimulant, nightmare inducing. Yellow, appetite stimulant, makes people lose their temper more often. Blue, appetite suppressant. And pink, tranquilizer, makes people sleepy. So if you ever want to go to sleep, just embrace the power of punk. Researchers did a study of the relationship between people's happiness and their mortality, and found that people who feel they have a sense of purpose tend to have longer lives. When elderly participants felt their lives had a meaningful purpose, their chances of dying were reduced dramatically. Aw, oh, that's really wholesome. And finally, the release of the film Psycho was heavily controlled. Patrons who had not yet seen the film would be segregated from those who had. There were hundreds of posters on every theater showing the film, which hyped up the importance of seeing the film and not spoiling it for everyone else. And then there were even Pickerton officers who would watch over the line to make sure that no one so much as hinted as the contents of the movie and risk spoiling it for the new viewers. On top of all this, it was the first movie to ever have scheduled times. Before then, people would just get a ticket and watch a short or two, maybe a full length movie, maybe a full lineup, whatever they felt like, and leave. With Psycho, you bought your ticket for the specific date and time and you stayed for that movie and that movie alone. Though people were allowed to leave early, it was heavily frowned upon. Imagine if they tried doing that for the Avengers movies. Well, hey there, dudes. Are you ready for Fun Facts with Discord number whatever this is because pre-production Patrick forgot to look at the number before he started the show? Me too. Elmer McCurdy, an outlaw in the twilight years of the Old West, was arguably more entertaining in death than he was in life. He was killed in a police shootout in 1910, and instead of burying the guy, the Undertaker embalmed the body and put him on display. He was eventually taken by carnival workers posing as his brothers and put it in their show. He traded hands several times throughout his post-mortem journey, even being used as a prop of a dead dope fiend to promote the 1933 film Narcotics. He eventually was dipped in wax and painted up to look like a wax figure and locked in an LA warehouse with actual wax figures. Until he was sold with them to the wax museum. Since the owner, Spoonie Singe, couldn't put the figure on display as it was too gruesome, it was a shriveled mummy of a body at that point, he sold it to the Pike Amusement Zone in Long Beach, where it was used as a prop of a hanged man in one of the exhibits. 
He was finally discovered to be a corpse in 1976, when an episode of The Six Million Dollar Man was being filmed there, and a tech who tried to move the body had its arm break off in its hand. McCurdy was then taken back to his home state of Oklahoma and finally put to rest. 65 bloody years after his death. If you want to sit there and think just how weird humans are, that is the living example. Well, not living, but you know what I mean. The movie Cool World was a flop because the producer and two writers changed the original script for the movie. The original was about a psychopath killer child born from a human father and a tune mother finding his place in either human or cartoon world, which he ends up finding that he doesn't fit in both worlds. He also tried to kill his father due to him abandoning him. That's... Isn't that Bendy and the Ink Machine? Is that, what, is that, is that the plot? Wasn't that the plot? Dawn detergent can literally clean anything except the mirror. You don't need to buy a ton of different cleaning products for the bathroom. In addition, Dawn actively donates to wildlife charities and makes sure their new formulas are safe for use on animals in case of oil spills. They don't do animal testing either. One of the very few name brands worth supporting. I 110% agree with this person's statement. Thank you, um, homestuck guy. Finland has the most leftover mortar shells and ammunition after the Second World War. This is because Finland was forced to drive out the German troops from Lapland by the Soviet Union, starting the War of Lapland, 1944 to 1945. This was a phony war for most part, but Soviets threatened to invade if the Finns didn't fight the Germans. The Germans were driven out and they left tons of mortar shells behind. Thousands of shells are destroyed by the army every year and they are still found within nature. Alright, let's put this in comedic perspective for a second. Alright, Finland, here's what you do. Germans are invading, you wipe them out or we invade you. Also, when they leave, you're going to have to clean up their mess. And if you don't do that, well, we also will invade you. I actually feel really sorry for Finland. You've never seen a full movie because you blink. That actually sounds more like a shower thought than a fun fact. I mean, it could be both. Because it's not wrong. But I, I, I want to see a full movie now. The Museum of Broken Relationships lets you anonymously drop off items that remind you of your ex and then turns your story into an exhibit. The displays have helped thousands of people heal by giving them the chance to overcome emotional collapse through creativity. It's now seen over 45 temporary and two permanent locations around the world. Oh, I actually really like that idea. Inside the firmware of every copy of the Nintendo Switch, there's a copy of NES Golf, a game created by Satoru Iwata. How do you play it? Well, first you have to have a brand new Switch, still running version 1.0.0, and has never been connected to the internet. Then on July 11th, the actual internal system clock, not just setting the system to that date, the day of Satoru's passing, you take the Joy-Cons and you make Awata's signature straight to you gesture. So yeah, you're probably not going to be able to unlock it on your Switch, but that's okay. It's not meant to be open. The game is there as a omamori, a Japanese charm carried in a bag. Opening it is said to let the blessing out, so you're not supposed to. It's just one final good luck charm from Awata to carry with you wherever you go. God bless you, Satoru. You were too good for us. This one's mildly disturbing. You can get your iris color changed, but only outside of the U.S. as it isn't cleared in the U.S. This is because it literally cuts your eye open and replaces your iris with a silicone circle. It hasn't been cleared in the U.S. for safety, obviously. However, there is a new technique being developed that is meant to be much, much safer and less likely to damage the eye permanently. In fact, this is one of the cosmetic surgeries with the highest rate of unintended side effects. Even if they're making a safer method, I think with your eye color, you just gotta deal with the card you're dealt. And finally, Shadow of the Colossus oh my God, my favorite PlayStation game. was originally going to have 64 colossi, but due to that being too many for everyone to work on, it was moved down to 24. But then it went down again to 16, and now that's where it stands to this very day. Even though there are images of the eight unused colossi in certain things like beta trailers and so on, you can also find their areas like the cave, the dam, the fields, and other areas. You know, you'd think with the remaster they would have included those eight other colossi. Or hell, they could have done the original 64, because I'm pretty sure PS4 could kind of handle all that stuff now. But maybe I just want that because this is my favorite PlayStation game, and if they did that, I would have actually bought a PS4. I don't know.
Skiddly dee, skiddly doo, it's fun facts with Discord, yippity doo. Spiders actually do hiss at things when threatened, and the only reason humans usually can't hear it is that most breeds of spiders are so small that the sound is too high pitched for us to hear. However, in America, specifically Florida, it is not impossible to find a spider large enough to hear, especially when it's large enough that you can hear its legs go thump 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 on a wall instead of tick 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 or no sound at all. I bet if one of the Spider-Man alternatives could hiss, they would. It would probably be Penny. You would need to slap a chicken at 3,725.95 miles per hour to cook it. This will unfortunately also result in destruction of both the chicken and your hand. So whatever you do, don't Deku that chicken. The Punisher comic book once crossed over with Archie. It's where Frank Castle mistakes Archie with a notorious drug dealer who is an exact lookalike with Archie. His name is Why does Archie cross over with so many weird series? It's like Archie meets Predator. Why? In the game T Fortress 2, the spy was never meant to be a thing. In testing, there was one class that for some reason spawned with the opposing team's colors. Instead of fixing it, the TF2 team decided to make it into a feature, hence our lovable, backstabbing, mysterious Frenchman. Who just wants to be seduced. In 1942, the 2nd of September, the USSR gave a tank wings and let it fly. No joke. The idea was that a tank could glide over enemy lines and support airborne troops with an attack from behind because of a lack of heavy weapons with airborne troops. But sadly, it turned out that these glorified gliders would not be a great solution for their problems. Some other countries thought of this as well, including the USA and England, so we can't escape that kind of stupidity either. Possibly the most ridiculous body pillow ever made is for Mia from Monster Musume. You can wrap yourself with it as it is very long. It also holds the unofficial record for the longest body pillow in the world since it's one to one scale with the actual character. Designed for anybody who likes snakes just a little too much. The Simpsons short film, short film, <laughs> Steamed Hams, that was a popular meme before, had an actual chance of being its own show. The clip originates from 22 short films about Springfield, which featured 22 short clips which they made a show off a potential spinoff. However, none of them were actually used. Oh no 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 no, it's not Simpsons, it's Steamed Sons. Walt Disney World was originally not going to have a version of Pirates of the Caribbean, as Disney believed that Florida was too close to the Caribbean. Instead, Imagineer Mark Davis pitched a ride called the Western River Expedition, which would be placed where Big Thunder Mountain is today. The ride would be themed to cowboys rather than pirates, and if billed, it would have been one of the most advanced Disney attractions of its time. However, because people complained about Pirates of the Caribbean not being in the park, and because it was too expensive, they decided to cancel it. The ride eventually inspired Inspired Big Thunder Mountain, and elements of the ride were snuck into other attractions by Imagineers. That would explain Splash Mountain. You never forget a face in your life. It gets stored in your memory and used in various different applications. For example, when you're dreaming, your brain can't just create a face. All the people you see in your dream, you've seen sometime before in your life. So that would explain why certain dreams may seem like foreshadowing, but in reality, it's just because your brain couldn't think anybody else. And for Ding Dang Finalies, the current game with the longest loading time as of now is Anthem, made by BioWare, beating the previous game, Sonic 06, which took 28 seconds to load an area. Anthem, on the other hand, takes a full minute and 8 seconds to load even with the day one patch. If you also want to change your gear in the menu, that will also load. So have fun playing Anthem. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. <laughs> Well, what's up, my dudes? Are you ready for some fun facts with Discord number two zero? I think. Let me double check. Hold on. Is it two zero? Is it two zero? It's two zero. Okay, here we go. Coke Zero is supposed to have no sugar. Remember the tax on sodas and stuff? Coke Zero is getting taxed with that. Coke, you taxing my favorite drink right now? You taxing? You taxing that? Stop it. People tend to significantly overestimate how noticeable their embarrassing are to others due to a cognitive bias known as the spotlight effect. So just remember, you're not that embarrassing. Your brain's just making you think otherwise. Unless you took your pants off in public, then put them back on. Community has pulled off one of the most patient Easter eggs. 
In one episode of each of the first three seasons, the word Beetlejuice was used offhandedly in a joke. If you've seen the movie Beetlejuice, the titular mischievous ghost would appear in a world of the living if anyone said his name three times. So sure enough, on the third mention by a community character, a guy looking like Beetlejuice appears in the background for exactly two seconds. They patiently waited three years to reach that punchline. I love community so much. I miss it. Give me my movie! In the Jurassic Park films, the iconic Tyrannosaurus Rex roar was created using sounds from various animals. But for many of them, they messed with speed and pitch of some sounds made by Gary Rydstrom's Jack Russell Terrier, Buster. And bonus weird fun fact, to make the noise the Utah Raptors make when they squeal, honk, and bark at each other, Rydstrom took the sounds of tortoises having sexual intercourse. He said in an interview with Vulture in 2013, it's somewhat embarrassing, but when raptors bark at each other communicate, it's a tortoise having sex. I will now demonstrate what that sounds like. Ha! <laughs> so just pitch that down a little bit, and it might be pretty scary. Henry Ford didn't invent the automotive assembly line. It was Oldsmobile that did. While Ford did invent the mobile line that was more efficient, Oldsmobile assembly line consisted of stations where they would build each car individually. The process of building each car took days, if not weeks, to complete. Sure, Henry didn't make the assembly line, but god dang it, he did make it much, much smoother. Oh boy, this is a long one. Okay. <clears throat> the Beatles broke up at Disney World due to a lot of red tape and Lego limbo mumbo jumbo. The breakup of the Beatles was prolonged from 1970, when Paul quit the group and officially announced it to be over, to December of 1974. At that time, George, Ringle, and Paul already signed the paperwork needed for the Beatles to break up. But while waiting for John Lennon at the Plaza Hotel in New York, close to where he lived at the time, they were informed that John Lennon was actually vacationing at Disney World for the holidays with his girlfriend, Mei Pong. This is when he and Yoko briefly separated for his lost weekend. So, in December 29th, 1974, they sent George Harrison's lawyer to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort and asked him to sign the papers. With the Magic Kingdom as his backdrop, he officially declared that the Beatles are over by scribbling his name on a piece of paper. I can't believe Mickey killed the Beatles. Ha <laughs> ha! You can actually keep milk after its sell-by date, and it will be safe because the milk gets pasteurized, meaning that any harmful bacteria would have been removed long before it hit the shelves. Sure, it might make it feel sick and it might not taste good, but according to the LA Times article I've linked below, the safety risk of keeping milk past its sell-by date practically don't exist. Kinda wanna look into that one more. Then again, I'm pretty sure I'm becoming lactose intolerant, so I'm not drinking milk that much anyways to really care. But I'm sure somebody will. In the video game Fire Emblem Awakening, there is a specific throwing weapon used by those who can wield axes called the Volant Axe that is actually based off the Hunja Munja? Hunga Munga? The Mombel of the Magbedu. The Mombel is a form of a hybrid knife axe which consists of an iron blade with a curved section rearward spike. The curved hook of the blade was used to keep the weapon in the victim and if pulled out caused further damage. The Mombel can be used in combat as a hatchet or dagger, or more typically thrown. This is why the Volan Axe in Awakening has a range of 1 to 2 and is also based on the axe class. I'm imagining Donald with one of these and it amuses the crap out of me. Come on, Donnie! Throw that weird goofy axe! For anyone using Adobe programs such as Photoshop or InDesign, this will be good to know. Photoshop files are much bigger and will take up more space on a flash drive compared to an InDesign or Illustrator file, which take up far less space. This will be helpful to any future artists using these programs. Granted, it might take up a long time to fill it up depending on your storage space or your flash drive. That is good to know. Thank you, assassin. Oh god, is he here to kill me? In South Africa, 2009, an employee of an IT company complained that data would get transferred faster by carrier pigeon than on ASDL. Winston the Pigeon, armed with a 4 gigabyte memory stick, took two hours to carry the data 60 miles. In the same time, the ADSL had sent 4% of the data. And I thought my internet was slow. Colonel Sanders hated KFC so much he was sued by the company and won because it was never stated that the colonel was required to promote KFC. In fact, he used to go to KFC restaurants across the nation and jump behind the counter and taught people how to make his chicken properly. Now, if they tried to do that stunt now, we have way too many actors for the colonel, so who knows? 
Actually, that would be a very interesting publicity stunt. KFC, let's talk. I am Ding Dang for Flight Elise. There exists a chemical solution known as piranha, which is a combination of sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide. The two chemicals together will eventually neutralize, as best it can, and you will often need to keep adding peroxide, but it will aggressively attack any carbon-based matter and vigorously bubble and boil. Effectively, the acid breaks down the matter to simple carbon compounds, while the peroxide forms carbon dioxide from those compounds. You can search online for a couple of these reactions dissolving wooden chopsticks, meat, and other materials. Now that sounds cool and dangerous. Don't do anything with those chemicals.